Seahawks news and rumors coming at you here. Trey Flowers, it's a time to end the experiment. This, this was the discussion from the Seahawks SB Nation site. I thought it was a good one to engage with because I've never been a big fan of Trey Flowers. And you can go back and look at some early videos, and Seahawks fans are very, very upset. Flowers with me. in general are expensive. That's very true. Now, look, drafted in the fifth round out of Oklahoma State, 2018, they moved him from safety to <laughs> cornerback. And there were some flashes, some moments of, ooh, the Seahawks might have found their next day three pick who ends up being a stud. And he had some success, especially yep. in his earlier bunch of pass breakups, the completion percentage, the yards per target weren't too bad. Even 2019 as well, there was some success with Trey Flowers. The problem is, and it's kind of backed up by the numbers here minus the interceptions, He's headed in the wrong direction, specifically where things really fully fell apart, which my, I thought was going to be rock bottom, and we'll discuss this year in a second. The playoffs <laughs> last year for Trey Flowers. Yeah. Six catches on eight targets, 107 yards, two touchdowns, most of those coming against the Packers. He got absolutely worked over. Now, Quentin Dunbar has been banged up this year. Seattle brought him in, so they did not have to start Trey Flowers. Because of the injuries, Flowers has played a pretty significant amount. And the problem is, it's right there in the completion percentage. When teams throw at Flowers, they complete the pass. 83%, yep. a wildly high figure for Flowers. A one pass break up a touchdown. He has not been very good in coverage this year. And now the question that was kind of posed by, by field goals was, well, what do you do with him? Do you keep him? Do you give up on the experiment? I think in particular for right now, okay. for this season, you're probably better off keeping him because you don't really have many other options, Mitch. So do you keep him or do you take a dump? Type K for keep, type uh, D for dump. You, you don't take a dump in this scenario. You just dump him. You, D for dump or K for keep? Yeah, you said something very inappropriate there, and I, I had All to correct right, You guys so. want to keep him or take a dump? What should Seattle do with Trey Flowers? Get your votes in here as you're looking at the Seahawks cornerback depth chart. Look, Griffin, we'll talk more about him and Dunbar. Ugo Amadi has stepped up decently in the unfortunate absence of Marquise Blair. The reason I go with keep for now, in parentheses or, or in you know commas if you want, <laughs> You have Nico Thorpe and Lyndon Stevens. That's that's all you've got there in the back end. Your top two guys I actually like quite a bit. Now, Shaquille Griffin has very much been up and down, but he's kind of started to settle down a little bit after a, a rocky start this year. I, I like Dunbar a lot. Again, he missed some time, so his volume numbers are a little bit lower than maybe what they could be. But they're clearly your best two cornerback options. In fact, I think it's actually a pretty good debate, Mitch as to which is actually the best Seahawks corner. All right, well, let's have that debate here. Quentin Dunbar, Shaquille Griffin, or if you think it's going to be somebody else, throw their name down there below. I don't, so, I don't know who else you would type as other. I, I gave it as an option in case the you know Trey Flowers' parents or something are watching out there. <laughs> or maybe you loved what Marquise Blair did in, in nickel before he ended up getting hurt. It says cornerback only, so, of course, Jamal Adams, Quanter Diggs do not count here. I think Eileen Griffin. I'm going to go Griffin. But I, D Dunbar has been a, a, a good football player for the Seattle Seahawks and back before he was traded by the by Washington. Eileen Griffin, but I think there is a legitimate <laughs> argument to be made, especially with Griffin's inconsistency this year, might actually be D. If you're looking to stay safe, make sure you get yourself an NFL face mask at the link that you see below, chatsports.com slash stay safe. We have hundreds of masks for all 32 NFL teams. As you can see, I went out and got myself a face mask. There you, go. you guys can too. Yeah, at first, it kind of looks like a thong. You it's you not. Why would you? It's not. It's a face mask. Stay safe. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. I was actually out at a bar, maybe like, I shouldn't say bar, a restaurant a month ago. Yeah, you shouldn't say bar. And I saw a girl take her underwear off and use it as a mask. Don't do that. That's disgusting. Instead, Who do you hang out with? People from Dallas. They're wild people. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. Make sure you guys are taking advantage of this deal. Up to 20% off player mask. Packs of 4, 3, and 2.